it has been a total pleasure to be here this week. Um, uh, the scene in Toronto is uh, amazingly vibrant. You can really feel it. I can feel it. Um, here and at uh, Book Thug Plaza out in the western hinterlands and at uh, um, um, down BP Nickel Lane yesterday. Um, you know, many, many people, many, many different angles. Um, it's true, I, I, when, having finished the alphabet in the age of huts and chanting, I felt like I was finally ready to begin a long poem. And um, <laughs> so this is, this is, the, this is that work. Uh, I could footnote every single line of this. Um, you know, the Alan in the first part is the fellow who took the photograph of me back in 1978 that's on the cover which is why it has hair and I do not. Um, but um, the only reference that you probably really ought to know is that the persistence of memory is a small painting by Salvador Dali with melting clocks. Dear Krishna, it's 6.11 a.m. Upstairs, a faucet turns briefly. Lily has grown now. Alan's hair thins at last. Melissa's perfect smile still shines, but no sign of Lulu. Time erodes what's dear, what's near. It's past too soon to grasp the consequence. Dawn threatens a new day constantly. Sun as vicious as dusk, or rather simply uncaring. Birds disinterested in the infant's corpse. It's language that introduces emotion or the other way round. My old street so narrow, two boys throwing a football would find my world unimaginable, and I'm sure theirs likewise will amaze them. How quaint that first home network seems already. Norma says of Barbara, she's there and then not, mimicking conscious more slowly now so that others can see you feel the heat's lack, but not the wind wind up an old clock airplane. I realize is now tracking the traffic, the early commute, first train, best train, still no hint of sun, but now all the trees, houses, visible in silhouette, the dog audible by its collar, paws over hardwood, then a sigh. Across the street, windows emerge, porches, no longer just outlines, details, a larger jet now, a few cars, then many, my penmanship more ornate today, no sign of the trembles. An instant ago, I sat in Elliot's kitchen, then taped words cut from the paper above the dog's white bowl. Good dog, the last I'd ever lived with, I didn't know then. I dream you, floating, not plummeting from high off that bridge. Birds finally begin to twitter, color floods, emerging day. The sun still behind the hills, face west toward whichever future comes. Mockingbird mimics dog collar, another bird's three-note peep. Discern now which jet is which. Pinks streak the high sky, I rise, eyes blink, shaking, sleep away. 750 angles in fog, bay at the runway's rim, engines roaring, waiting, ready, poised, then flaring to race forward, up over the salt ponds, half hidden in the mist, silhouette of the city piercing cloud, but the bridges are hidden, inner ear, particular trumpet displays, pressure, cottony wisps soon scatter, valleys revealed green and gold. I hold the fluted glass to cleanse the palate. Mango, ice cream, or the sauce, hot and sweet, spicy, smoked eggplant, rice absorbs the broth. Breath, breath, bread, a head, too big for hats, hands, likewise large, grasp the ball with ease to please herself. She walks on her palms, then flips upright, smiling, sees more than we know, teases younger brother, mother, dad, bad dogs, never, invariably dozes, wags, what tale undisclosed and aggregate, fatal to those who, unsuspecting, chose service. 
Fall in Fallujah, winter in Chester County, ice will do it, branches and jammed, snap lights, a tent connection, loud whoosh gives wind voice, chip film like glass from the walk, watch the car struggle uphill, my hands shaking, the line shaking, airplane audible but out of sight, dusk's light alone by which to write, wait! Weight will snap the limb, the line gone limp now, hang waist high, wood raw at the sound, at the wound, sun but streaks reflected to the west, pink orange fading, blue white behind, snow's powder blows harsh, right in the eyes, sinuses season soon follows, nest high atop power grids tower, reveal streaked eye, white head, beak, Built for killing, osprey stretches to observe her world. Water below great Conowingo Dam, the far sides a lake. But here what swims beneath water's surface is easily caught. No boating beyond this point, sign in the water post 9-11. But we drove right over Highway 1, south toward Darlington Country Store. A few churches, the firehouse, brand new but all volunteer what else but sell antiques old worlds evaporating not yet new commuters and a walmart to transform these farms into subdivisions demanding better schools a non-laughable cop to stop emergent crime stone said to contain its own sculpture thwarts choice to voice vowels languidly moist lips purr their part there's an art to it intuited before thought thinks drone to the fan in the bathroom refrigerators rumble casting ice fluorescent bulb winds in the lamp damp day fogs the glass razor wire rings the rooftop the young woman rises to shake my hand the helicopter green just hangs high over the gallery floor the persistence of memory smaller than i'd imagined the pinks of the women of avignon too bright i hear mourning as the first siren trucks cough paused at an intersection not visible from here, the blue of a perfect spring morning, unimaginable, above this gray crush of apartments. Who here owns the slightest yard? Young man, alone in Chipotle, chewing thoughtfully his large burrito, not talking, taking it all in, eyes absorbing all, could have been had this taqueria been there then, myself in 1964. What little I knew then, but could learn by doing, earn just enough to eke by, barking for the cafe wad, dime for each new customer. I lacked the huckster's flare, lone feather by a gravel road, all one needs by which to fabricate the tale, each to to each, not beach exactly, but stones against the water piled up to the dock, beyond which or which mockingbird hops to confront a robin. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs>